Hey everybody, this is Mike. Happy 2022. I am recording this on January 1st, which means I'm very late in reviewing the two new men's products that came out in the last month and a half at Bath & Body Works. Um, but we'll talk about that in a second. First, I just wanted to thank you if you're watching this for supporting the channel. Um, honestly, I, I love when I'm seeing people ask questions or comments or give your perspectives and positive feedback um, on the different videos. Thank you for that. It really does mean a lot. I um, love the products themselves and I love sharing my perspectives on it. So the fact that you are finding it helpful and then probably going out and making that purchase based on that means a lot. And so thank you for the support. Continue to do that, please. Engage with me. You can do that um, by following me on social media at Mike Kiros or you can really support by following and subscribing to the channel. So go ahead and do that um, right below by the next to the bell. That way you'll be notified each time I post a video and you'll get content right when it is served. So without further ado, let's talk about the two scents. First, I'm gonna go with Classic Flannel, which looks a lot like my shirt, which is why I'm wearing the shirt right now. So Classic Flannel, I'll uh, give you a little bit of a close up here, was released just uh, in, I think, December. So it's not too old. It's specific for the winter holiday line, as you can tell by the actual name of it. And there was a lot of anticipation for this scent simply because flannel, which is a candle at Bath & Body Works, is extremely popular. It's a very masculine cologne type scent. And I remember talking about it with some of the ladies at my local Bath & Body Works and they're like, oh my God, you know, I'm so excited to come out. Like, I'm going to buy it. And so people were really pumped for this one. And I was one of those as well because I love the actual candle. So when they released it, you bet believe I got it right away. Um, so I've already re personally reviewed this in my own life. I've already worn it many times, um, especially as the holidays are around right now and wrapping up. But let's go and smell it. So the fragrance notes are fresh bergamot, patchouli spice, and sweet amber. I think the patchouli is actually different than the candle. I don't know if that's in the actual candle, but um, it has a little bit of a different variant of it. So I would describe classic flannel as very masculine, very much like the candle, with maybe a little bit more heavy on the patchouli spice uh, fragrance note. And honestly, it's you can't go wrong with this one. You really can't. Um, it is very traditional, masculine, cologne-type scent, but still very good and doesn't seem cookie cutter. It's a lot different than anything else on the men's line right now. And it's probably their more kind of, again, heavier cologne-type scent than the last several months. Um, it's so good, honestly. And um, I'm going to go ahead and already rate this and I'm going to rate it a 9 out of 10, which is amazing. So Classic Flannel does come in the body spray and the body wash. It doesn't have the cologne and all that stuff because it is a limited edition scent. Um, and that also means because it's limited edition, they're discontinuing it right away now that the holidays are over. So also why I wanted to get on here right away is because right now, the semi-annual sale is going on at Bath & Body Works, which is when they discount all of the products that they're trying to clear out for the next wave of spring and summer scents. Crazy to believe here. It's snowing in, in Chicagoland area. But um, you can get this now at your store or online. I know they do have some left available still. Um, and I would get it ASAP because this will probably sell out in the next week if, if it has not already at your local store. Um, but I'm going to give Classic Flannel an 8 out of 10. Definitely recommend it. Uh, it's a great holiday scent. Great to wear. Um, and and the, I have the entire line. I bought all of them. I'll show you a photo of it here. And um, of course, you can see my flannel sheets there too. All right. So next scent is Whiskey Reserve. So Whiskey Reserve has like an orange brownish bottle. Honestly, I really am not a huge fan of the packaging. Um, but Whiskey Reserve has the fragrance notes of crisp apple, single malt whiskey, and white oak. So all of these particular um, fragrance notes I've never seen in a Bath & Body Works men's product. So when this kind of was uh, announced, I was very excited and interested um, and intrigued, honestly. So Whiskey Reserve is also extremely popular. I'll tell you right now, it's pretty much almost sold out at every single of my local stores. And I think that's sold out online. So you might be able to get by one of these products, but let's see if it's worth it. Let's do a little sniff test. And this one I have had too, and I honestly have been using it already as well. 
Uh, all right. Whiskey Reserve is a 10 out of 10. Um, and you can see my, my nice inhale and exhale from that because it's such a clean, crisp, um, masculine scent. It And it's not like overly musky at all. It's actually very clean smelling. Um, it smells very modern. And honestly, for the last month or so that I've been using it, and I did buy all the, uh, the products in this line as well, which is also the body spray and body wash and then the cream. So um, with this one specifically, I've been trying to, my nose, it smells exactly like one of my colognes. And I literally smelled all of my colognes in my collection one day just to figure out which one it was. And I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy, but it smells a lot like Jimmy Choo for men. Um, like kind of like the after smell, not necessarily the first spray of it, but it's extremely good. Um, it's very clean, uh, very you can very you can smell the wood in it. Um, I'm not sure about whiskey. I don't really like whiskey to be honest. You can smell the apple. I, I wish I can describe this even better than I am now, but this is a for sure product. Ten out of ten. Go get it. There's a reason why um, this is like being sold out across the board. People love it. You can't go wrong with it. And if you can find it, I would snatch a couple because they are also discontinuing this one, which honestly, I'm a little bit shocked. Um, this one, I, I've seen a lot more classic flannel in stock at the stores, but Whiskey Reserve, like, it, ever since it was released, people, it's really popular. So I'm shocked that they're discontinuing it so early. I would rather have this one kept around than Stone. And I think this one may come back too because it's just so popular. There's no question about it. They'll definitely come out with another um, repackaging of some sort, I'm sure, in the next year. But those are the two products I wanted to review today. I uh, hope you all liked it. Um, you know, again, 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. They did really, really well this season for the men. Uh, now that winter is closing up, you know, hope you all go get these good prices on my annual sale. You have a coupon, even better. But thank you all for watching and supporting the video. They have a new men's product coming out called Clear Horizon, I believe. And that is coming out, I'm assuming, January. So we'll see when that comes out. But I will be back with that. I'll be back with other reviews too. Thanks for the support. Go ahead and follow me on social media at Mike Kiros again. And then subscribe to the channel to be notified about future videos. Thanks again and have a great night and great 2022.